would love people saying, "Oh, Leafy, come back!" I would love to see Leafy come back and try to exist in the landscape today. Like the content that he was making would never fly on YouTube today, and you have to adapt and overcome the fact that. Leave a like, or you'll be attacked by this rooster. This is not a joke. He will peck your entire eyeballs out. This is not a scam. Speaking of this not being a scam. Shout out to the homie Aiden the Metalhead on making my new channel banner. If you guys check it out, it says Dead Killer 1000 needs sleep. No joke, no scam. I love you, dude. Now, but seriously, dude, shout out to the homie Aiden. He's like, you know, helping me with so much in my channels. And just overall, he's a great guy, great friend. And uh, thank you, dude. Love you. Although I do know people who don't love you. But, um, we love you. What's up boys, welcome back to another brand new video on the god dang internet and welcome back to another brand new reaction video to some scary stuff that you guys sent me in my discord server. Which if you have not joined, please join, the link is in the description, this is not a joke or a scam. But today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the smiling man. Really interested in this video, just look at the thumbnail. And just real quick, thank you guys so much for 60 subscribers. Jesus Christ, I literally cannot express how much I genuinely love you guys. Like, thank you guys so much for all the support, for sharing the videos. Just thank you. Oh, also, another thing I wanted to address before we get on into the video is I actually did not record any gameplay for this video. I know, I'm kind of stupid. Anyway, I got Geneva to give me some content for the video, so thank you to her. Please show her some love in the comment section, tell her that she did some really good cake flips and pop shovets. And, uh, yeah. But, of course, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. It means a lot to me. Show your support. And it helps you not get killed by a rooster tonight. You can also follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post the most pictures of me and my personal life. That's at DeadKiller1000. And please join my Discord server if you want to stay updated on new videos. Get videos early. And just be active with the community. And if for some reason you're not subscribed to my main channel, what are you doing? Go become a legend right now. And with all this shameless self-promotion out of the way, let's go ahead and dive on into this video. Pa -pa 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 -pa. I feel nothing but pain! Alright, I don't want to get too critical off the bat, but why is there Funko Pops in the background, but yet she's watching a Mickey Mouse show from the 1950s? I mean, yeah, sure, maybe she just likes some old cartoons, but like, I don't know a single kid that doesn't watch stuff like Teen Titans Go nowadays. See, all you younger kids who watch me won't understand the joys of wanting to watch very older shows like Young Justice, uh, Casey Undercover, uh, Austin and Allie. I mean, all those shows probably aren't that good now. They probably don't hold up too well, but uh, they were really good. I mean, like, iCarly, that was a really big one that a lot of kids at my school watched. Oh, and we can't forget, hey, Jesse. I'm not gonna lie, the girl's kind of scaring me a little bit. She kind of reminds me of a little android, but, um, yeah. She also looks like one of my friends if they were, like, a toddler, so that's also kind of creepy. What type of Stephen King's It ripoff is this? You'll float too, looking ass. What are those, baby doll hands? And she's not creeped out one entire bit. She just found a red balloon on the top of a staircase and of just hands and feet from literal Barbie dolls. And she's not freaked out one bit. You gotta give our little goblin friend wannabe a little, little bit of credit, you know? Instead of copying the entire Pennywise thing, he put down a little blue balloon. But still, how did she not hear that? Alright, well, the music's picking up a little bit. I just want to address, if you were ever in a horror movie situation, please do not have a ponytail or pigtails. Put that up in a bun. I'm just saying, you're gonna get your stuff yanked.
Mom, was that you? I got no response. What did I expect? Jeez, did you see that stare? Huh, I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. Oh, so sorry I keep pausing the video so much, I just have a lot of stuff to say today, but I mean, at the end of the day, I am a reaction channel, I'm supposed to be giving my reaction, here you go. Okay, so, um, I just want to put this out there, I usually, when I record these videos, I'm laying on the floor, this just made me sit up, so I'm sorry if the quality drops a little bit. That genuinely gave me a heart attack. I mean, I guess it was a little bit of the hand itself and nothing being on the other side, but dang, that music score really is. Is this John Williams? It's honestly pretty well to me how that actually made me jump IRL. I really wish I had a face cam on to show you, but it's pretty funny because I've already seen this video like three times before because Aiden showed me this video in sixth grade. I'm sorry, what was the suspense there? The Barbie doll having face tattoos? I mean, what, what, what was the suspense there? Can we just say how brave this little girl is? I mean, she literally has not feared anything. Listen, you little Pennywise wannabe, I'm about to go in on you, and I'm not sorry. I'm really about to cook your crusty frosted flakes on your forehead looking ass. I can probably park a rocket ship on your forehead. Your skin literally looks like bark off of a birch tree. His nails are so long that he can probably climb a tree with them. But I'm really about to cook your big skin tone, chicken bone, Google Chrome, microphone, no home, leave me alone, hat ass. Who let the local crankhead around the corner into a giant bag of flour with your golem? My precious. Looking ass. Really out here looking like you need some Bath and Body Works lotion. Get out of my face. <laughs> and let me get this straight. The little girl is still completely straight faced. Really? You're telling me she's not phased by this wannabe Demogorgon Slayer Goblin in her kitchen? Like, I'm sorry. If I'm, you know, supposed to be scaring some people and I see a child looking at me like this... I'm sorry, I can't even do anything at that point. I just have to walk away sad that I failed. She's really looking at this man like, bro, whose man's is this? <sighs> what is he doing? Some type of fairy dance? I am so confused here, dude. I really have no idea what's going through this nutcracker's mind. This crackhead is literally jumping up and down of excitement because she picked up a ball and held it close to her face as if she's gonna eat it. Please, for the love of God, don't eat it. The amount of probably sexually transmitted disease that you will just gain by just putting that thing in your mouth. I Just wash your hands, dude. <laughs> Really out here looking like Hawks, or I think that was his name, 
Whoever, that dude from Payday, you know who I'm talking about. Let me show a picture of him. Yeah, you know him. I probably look like such an old guy, dude, because I just mentioned a game that's like probably like 15 years old. Hey, I mean, at least he's applying some moisturizer to his face, you know? I mean, it's not lotion, but hey, at least he's trying. Hey, man, you get an A forever, man. It's okay. Here's your trophy, okay? It's what matters on the inside that counts. Never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Okay, um, I just want to quickly say, okay, this guy is on drugs. I think we can just basically just assume that, you know, he's on some Coca-Cola right now. But because I have a younger audience, I still have to say this. Please do not rub... This is so disgusting. Please do not rub someone's blood on your face. You will probably get, like, malaria or something. I mean, honestly, I think, you know, the, the thing where people, like, rub each other's blood on each other, I think that that's even worse than, like, the little spit stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, the little spit swears or whatever, where you, like, mix each other's saliva, and now you're, like, best friends or something. Okay, I just want to say I am so confused with this scene. Let me just break it down real quick, okay? So, this loony box dude just pulls back a curtain, dude. There's her mom wrapped up in, like, whatever that clear bag stuff that, you know, you get at, like, Walmart or whatever. She's wrapped up in that. Probably got suffocated. I, I thought at first, oh, maybe it's just really bad acting. You know, you can kind of see her face moving. You know, oh, that's just really bad acting. She can't fake death, whatever. The girl's scream had me weak. I mean, that's just a perfect sound. Can we play that again? <laughs> but then to top it all off, we got the mom slowly dying as soon as the little girl sees her. And I just want to say, the dude, okay, the little, like, goblin dude, whatever he is, the smiling man, sorry, is what the title of this movie is. He's really not that big. I mean, he literally looks like a Minecraft skeleton. How did you not see her in the background, okay? Like, I know you're only, like, five years old, but you probably need to get some, like, glasses or contacts or something, because you are you don't have 20-20 vision. You have, like, negative 1,000 out of 20. <laughs> I had no idea of a joke to put right here, so all I'm gonna say is, why is this literally me and probably, like, everyone else in the world, like... When you're really tired, you just find everything funny. Tell me that's not how you start laughing. I'm just saying. Especially when you're just chilling with the homies and you guys are just like cracking jokes. You can't help but start laughing, dude. You start dying of breath. You start needing to get an inhaler. It's bad. <laughs> Alright, so sadly, the little short movie ends right there, and if you're wondering what happens at the end, I'm gonna tell you a quick story that I actually figured out. If you actually didn't know, I'm actually really close friends with the guy who made this movie. Yeah, he's the homie. You know, apparently, according to sources that I don't really want to cite, um, because they're totally not made up at all, you know, the smiling man captures this little girl you know, possesses her, turns her into the dream child, but way better than Nightmare on Elm Street. And legend has it that Krusty the Clown and the little girl, to this day, still go to random houses and kidnap the children and kill their parents and wipe the blood on their face with their balloons and Barbie dolls with face tattoos. Well, I think that that just about does it for today's video. And if you made it this far in today's video, today is your lucky day because you will be receiving one entire bottle of lotion. But you gotta leave a like and press the subscribe button or else it will not happen. So go ahead and do it now. This is not a joke or a scam. And if you guys do want to enjoy today's video, please be sure to drop a like. You mean a lot to me and show your support. If you don't know what to comment, but you really want to comment something, just go ahead and comment lotion. 
Really just helps the video do better. Or if you want to, you can comment Geneva is the best Tony Hawk pro skater player of all time. And if you guys haven't already followed me on all my social medias, make sure you guys fix that and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join my Discord, which are all in the description. Please follow me on my Twitch and subscribe to my main channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. And uh, peace, peace. Yeah.